This episode is sponsored by Groover. Stay tuned to the end where I give you the discount code on their services. What a, what a world, this your homeboy Wordplay TJ and I'm back with another video for you. This time around, I'm gonna show you how to get on Spotify playlist legitimately. Stay tuned. <laughs> First of all, I want to say thank you for allowing me to take some time away from this channel and spend some time working on my album, like decompressing, doing other things like our YouTube channel for our podcast, No Rhyme or Reason. I have been super busy and this allows me to like kind of get my focus together so I can come back and do videos like this. All right, so let's start this off by talking about why it's important to get your music on Spotify playlist, specifically on user generated playlist. You see on Spotify, it's algorithmic based. That means that the AI is going to respond to how listeners are using the platform in order to recommend things for you and other listeners. That means if your music is on user generated playlists, that leads to your music music being on algorithmic playlists like on repeat and uh, discover weekly. And then those algorithmic playlists lead to editorial playlists like the big rap caviar playlist. And this is wordplay TJ. I have my own playlist that's editorial based on Spotify based off of my music alone. And that means the more playlists that you get into, the more your music spreads and the more fans that you can collect and turn into diehard people that roll with you from day one, go see the shows, participate in buying merch and just live for your music. So if you want some of this success, that means it starts with making good songs. And what I'm about to introduce is a platform that will help you get on those user generated playlists and maybe even editorial playlist easier. So to avoid all the hoops and things that you have to jump through in order to get on a playlist, like those scammy playlist sites where you don't know where the plays are coming from, I recommend that you use Groover. Now Groover has sponsored this video, so I just want to let you know, full disclosure, they are the sponsor for this video. They're the ones that are supporting this channel right now. And so I want you to know that I will get a kickback. I will get some, some, some Groovies, and I'll talk about that later, whenever you use my discount link. So what is Groover? If you ever heard about SubmitHub, then you should know what Groover is. Groover is a French based company that aims to connect independent artists and labels with curators, labels, radio stations, and playlists on Spotify. And again, if you've seen my videos on Submit Hub, you should understand how Groover works. Ultimately, you create a profile, you add your music, you share it with the curators, they give you some feedback and an opportunity to share your work, whether it be their blog or their Spotify playlist. And I wanna get something straight right away. This is not payola. I took some time to speak with Groover's team and we talked about like how payola can be misinterpreted with these types of services. And I'm here to let you know the two things are wildly different. Oftentimes in payola, you're handing somebody a bag of money under the table and you're going to guarantee that you get some radio spins or playlist push or something that's really important to your music career and it's going to be almost guaranteed because you're paying big bucks in order to make that happen. In this situation, Groover is a platform that allows you to pay to get that feedback and that access to a database. They've taken the time to find the curators who want music and the artists that have music to share. And using that platform means that they are the catalyst to some of your music promotional success. And it's only right that they charge a little bit of a fee for that, but we'll get into that a little bit later. So let's go ahead and get into the steps of becoming someone who uses Groover. Well, first you wanna go to groover.co, so groover.co, and you want to set up your profile. 
I recommend setting up your profile first and that's what I did. I went and added my artist name, my social media links, my images, and uh, some of my best songs to the platform. Once your profile is complete, you wanna go ahead and start looking for some curators. And that means you have to start a campaign in order for them to know about whatever you're promoting. So in this instance, I'm looking for Spotify playlist curators and I want to share my song Marseille. So after you have that mission in mind, you wanna go ahead and start a new campaign and then you want to pick your curators. So once you have a strategy in mind, you wanna go ahead and start a new campaign and you wanna add a song so you can pitch it. Adding a song is really easy. You can use a YouTube link, you can use a SoundCloud link, you can use a Spotify link, and you should have a pitch ready or a description of your song ready so you can add it with your pitch. If your song isn't out yet, I don't know if you should do a Spotify playlist campaign. I really think you should do things like look for bloggers or journalists that will cover your music if the music isn't out yet because you just don't want to like put out the 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 idea that you have a song that's ready to be heard if it's not out yet first you want to start off by picking your genre so i'm a hip-hop artist this is a hip-hop song and i also rap in english and so i picked those two categories for my genre Next, you wanna add your curator type. And in this case, this is where I have a little bit of feedback for Groover. I was a little confused and because I'm neurodivergent, I was confused as to like what these things meant when I'm picking a curator. Obviously, I want my song in media, so that's the first button I chose, but that was a lucky guess. And so what I would recommend is if there was like a quick drop down of different curators or you add it to the left hand side like retailers so you can filter out a little bit easier and I can see my options uh, right away. But regardless of that, I was able to pick Spotify playlisters and I moved on. Next, you wanna pick your country. So I focused on the United States, that's where I live. And obviously, like it's a good idea to uh, reach out globally. But I think uh, artists should first start with home and then reach out to international folks on, in a different campaign. So you wanna use one campaign for your home country and then you wanna use another campaign for international plays. In the advanced section, I had a few options. So I chose very impactful people, I chose high opportunity rates, and I chose high quality feedback. I really want feedback as a part of this process, so I wanted folks that will absolutely give me feedback even if they don't choose my music. Lastly, if you've run campaigns before, you can set a bunch of filters that will help you understand how to connect with people that you have connected with before or try something new. Speaking of filters, I was filtering through my YouTube analytics and I learned that 97% of the people that watch my videos are not subscribers. So if you're watching this for the first time, please subscribe to this channel. Be sure to share it with somebody else and hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm. From there, you wanna take a lot of time sorting through curators. You wanna click on them, you wanna to listen to their playlist a little bit, and you wanna make sure that it's a good fit for your song. Now, if you don't have that kind of time, that's okay. You can choose a wide variety of playlisters. So Groover has already done some analyzing of their platform and they learned that the more curators that you choose, the more satisfied you're gonna be with the platform. So if you don't have the time to go through and pick and select curators, then doing a wide kind of scattershot should be okay. Finally, after you're taking the time to choose your curators, you wanna move on to the final step, and that is getting ready for your pitch and then payment. In this final step, you wanna make sure to review your campaign, you wanna add your pitch for your song, and you wanna add a custom message if you want to to those curators. After you do that, it's time to check out. Now, Groover has a special type of currency. It's called a Grooviz. And a Grooviz is equal to about $1 or one euro if you're in Europe. Typically, the curators are worth two Grooviz. And so 
if you spend about, let's say, 100 bucks, you can probably reach out to about 50 curators. Some curators are a little bit more expensive than others, and so be mindful of it when you're going through your curator list. Those that are more expensive are probably top tier curators and have a lot of clout on the platform. But you're gonna have better results when you choose people that are more, a little bit more expensive. In this instance, you can use my promo code, wordplaytjgroove10, and get 10% off your first time trying Groover. And again, that helps support this channel because they've paid me to sponsor and it also helps me promote my music in the future while using Groover. After you pay and you submit to all of the curators, you wanna take about 24 hours and come back to your email and you should have some results. So in my case, I got 11 responses, I got four shares and two promises to share with some caveats. Those caveats are just that they wanna take the time to add it to the playlist or they needed more information from me in order to add it to the playlist. And I feel like that's a good start. Out of those 11 responses, those that didn't choose to share my my work gave me some great feedback. And what you can do is rate their feedback on the platform to make sure that they're held accountable for providing people with good feedback, especially because you're paying your money in order to get it. And all of this feedback is anonymous. That means that Groover will check into the feedback and make sure that curators are doing what they're supposed to be doing on the platform. For those that shared my music, I'm able to get their email address. And what I did was went ahead and sent them an email. And also I made sure to add their playlist to my Spotify account so I can share it later on. And that's exactly what I did because I wanna start really good relationships with folks and in the future when I have a song that fits their playlist, I can submit it again. Ultimately, Groover is a great tool, especially for getting your music on Spotify playlist. I would like to try out Groover a little bit more and see what it's like to submit to blogs. So I'm gonna try Groover again when I get ready to promote my album, Terry, that's coming out really, really soon. And speaking of sharing, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section. I appreciate you watching this video. Be sure to hit that like button. Be sure to share this if you got something out of it. And until next time, it's your homeboy Wordplay TJ. Peace.